So, Leah, a second day of disruptions. What's causing these delays? Well, Miriam, it's been a bad combination of bad weather and staff shortages across the eastern states, which is still causing significant delays uh, here at Sydney Airport and in Brisbane and in Melbourne. And that's the flow-on effect from yesterday when we had um, a staff shortage in Brisbane. There was a, a shortage of air traffic controllers up there, which was uh, delaying flights coming in and out of Brisbane. And then also coupled with strong winds in Sydney yesterday, which meant that for a time they were down to one runway here and that caused a lot of flights to be cancelled. There was uh, fears that there were going to be further strong winds here in Sydney today which would mean they may have had to go down to one runway again today. That has not come to fruition yet. However, the flow-on effect from those delays yesterday is continuing. Um, more cancellations today. In fact, we've had more than 30 flights in and out of Sydney cancelled so far today. The similar number have been cancelled in and out of Melbourne Airport with the flow on effects from the other states and in Brisbane about 25 flights have been cancelled so far and that's coinciding with the start of school holidays in New South Wales today and obviously Victoria Queensland are in the middle of their school holidays so a particularly bad time for travellers and here's what some of them had to say earlier today. We were very unaware that our whole flight was pushed back a day over 24 hours and it's costed us so much in accommodation, pet boarding, flights, like we're going to have an extra 3k, 4k out of pocket just to get these other flights to, I don't know, get a layover in Brisbane just to get there. So it's a whole mess. It's my, my uh, in-laws 90th and we're just going to miss that. Oh, very stressful because I've only travelled about five times in my life. So this is my yeah. big trip. So as you can see behind me, the queues here at Sydney Airport have significantly reduced now, although uh, airlines have said they have tried to preemptively cancel flights before passengers get here. So that might not necessarily reflect how many passengers are actually still being affected. Anyone who is affected is encouraged to contact their airline. Leah Harris reporting there at Sydney Airport.